Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will learn the objective of the supply chain management and the supply chain surplus. The objective of every supply chain should be to maximize the overall value generated. The value a supply chain generates is the difference between what the value of the final product is to the customer and the cost the supply chain incurs in filling the customer's request. Supply chain surplus is an organization's value addition by supply chain function. We can say that supply chain surplus is equal to customer value minus supply chain cost or supply chain surplus is equal to revenue generated from a customer minus total cost incurred to produce and deliver the product. This difference is referred to as a supply chain surplus. The value of the final product may vary for each customer and can be estimated by the maximum amount the customer is willing to pay for it. The difference between the product's value and price remains with the customer as consumer surplus. The rest of the supply chain surplus becomes supply chain profitability. The difference between the revenue generated from the customer and the overall cost across the supply chain. Let's have a look on example. A customer purchased detergent from Walmart pays $16, which represents the revenue the supply chain receives. Customers who purchase the detergent value it at or above $16. Thus, part of the supply chain surplus is left with the customer as consumer surplus. The rest stays with the supply chain as profit. Walmart and other supply chain strategies incur cost to convey information, produce components, store them, transport them, transfer funds and so on. The difference between the $16 that the customer paid and the sum of all costs incurred by the supply chain to produce and distribute the detergent represents the supply chain's profitability. Supply chain profitability is the total profit shared across all supply chain stages and intermediaries. The higher the supply chain profitability, the more successful is the supply chain. The supply chain surplus will strongly correlate with profits for most profit making supply chains. Supply chain success should be measured in terms of supply chain profitability and not in terms of profits at an individual stage. Sometimes profitability at individual stages may lead to a reduction in overall supply chain profits. A focus on growing the supply chain surplus pushes all members of the supply chain toward growing the size of the overall pie. Having defined the success of a supply chain in terms of supply chain profitability, the next logical step is to look for sources of value, revenue and cost. For any supply chain, there is only one source of revenue, the customer. The value obtained by a customer purchasing a car at a Toyota dealership depends upon the several factors including the features and functionality of the car, the variety of options available and the services offered by the dealer. The customer is the only one providing positive cash flow for the Toyota supply chain. All other cash flows are simply fund exchange that occur within the supply chain given that different stages have different owners. When a dealer Pays Toyota, it is taking a portion of the funds the customer provides and passes that money on to Toyota. All flows of information, product, or funds generate cost within the supply chain. Thus, the appropriate management of these flows is key to supply chain success. Effective supply chain management involves the management of supply chain assets and products, information, and fund flow to maximize the total supply chain surplus. Growth in supply chain surplus increases the size of the total pie, allowing contributing members of the supply chain to benefit. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to subscribe.